with all the tokens of honor around here, this is going to be a floral bouquet party in three days. This is very, very nice. Um, I have a very simple duty. I'm the moderator for this business method uh, area, which is kind of unusual since I'm the only one who has business methods. Um, but I'm sure we're going to have a very stimulating discussion. Uh, I'd like to first uh, introduce my esteemed panelists and talk about them a little bit. And then I would like to take about five minutes to talk about uh, business methods in the United States and then turn it over to everyone to really handle issues uh, quite effectively. First, I'd like to say uh, one of our panelists, uh, Mr. V. Lakshmi Kara, who is the founding and managing partner of the firm with his name at the beginning of it. Um, he specializes in direct tax such as customs, excise, and service tax, WTO agreements, international trade laws, intellectual property laws, and court laws. He is a private practice handling patent litigation for Fortune 500 companies. He regularly speaks on diverse topics such as international trade, tax, IP law, etc., and acclaimed institutions in India and abroad. He has also written extensively on taxation and trade remedy laws for various publications. Our next speaker will be Mr. Pravin Anand, managing partner of with his name in it. Uh, he serves on an editorial board of several international IP journals, including IP Asia, Entertainment Law Review, and Computer and Telecommunication Review. He has authored several papers on IP and has co-authored two intellectual property volumes on Halsbury's work in India. He has served Several international and national expert groups and committees, including the Patent Law Drafting Committee, for advising and recommending changes to IAIPAC, past president of the Asian Patent Attorney Association, APA India, director on the board of INTA in 2008, and president of AIP. Our third panelist, also esteemed, uh, Professor Singram Schindler, is a professor of operating systems and communication systems and CEO of Dallas Ag. Mr. Schindler completed academic studies in applied mathematics, theoretical physics, abstract math mathematics with some art studies, and he's very proud of his mathematics background. He is the co-founder and member of the board of the German federal government serving an academic IT representative for Berlin to the Federal Ministry for Research and Technology, Education Programs in Information Science German Universities. He is a professor of operating systems and communication systems in the Department of Information Technology at TU Berlin. His business successes include the creation of TELUS and subsequent launch of Hebb Hosting, Wireless Broadband Internet, and Web Learning. Please help me welcome the panel and let's get started. I think it's a very interesting issue with respect to uh, business methods as a compatible subject matter in this country. But they are compatible subject matter in the United States, and I'd like to briefly talk about that. Um, we have recently had a case affirming that. I'm not sure you're familiar with it, but it's called In re Bilski. Bilski made the determination that business claims in some were patentable subject matter. They also, the court in the decision, set up tests that allow us to determine what should be used in making that determination as to whether or not that business method is patentable. I will say that the court did in fact affirm the patent and trademark office test, which was transformation or tied to machine. So the court actually did say what we were using to make the determination was accurate. In addition, the court said other tests would apply. I've asked several different groups that I've spoken before to suggest other tests to apply and have not really had any viable methods for doing that. So I do know that my test works. I know that the courts say there are other tests. I don't know what those other tests are. And I do expect the courts to reaffirm the actual patentability subject matter in some subsequent cases, such as Prometheus and Clark, which have come down recently. There will be more refinement in time, but I do not expect 
the Supreme Court revisit the bill anytime soon. So I believe that business methods will remain patentable in the United States for a long period of time. Let me caveat, as being the commissioner for patents, how we handle them. First of all, I look at subject matter patentability, which in the United States is referred to as statutory one issues as a very broad filter. The United States believes in broad patentability of subject matter. 101 is the filter, but it's only the filter. There are other parts of our statute that handle whether that subject matter should be granted or not. Some of the more obvious areas are 35 C 102 and 103. If it's out there and anticipated, if it's out there and obvious, those are being used to reject applications as prior art against those applications. That, I think, is the more proper handling of the issues. That is where I intend our examiners to focus on the efforts. I will say one more piece. I have with me, and I've brought, our, our testing method in the United States Patent and Trademark Office for determining whether an examiner believes a claim is patentable or not patentable. And it has got different, it's the method of eligibility, it's a quick reference. Every examiner, uh, and I have 7,000 of them in my office, has this in front of them. And it gives factors towards weighing eligibility, and then factors weighing against eligibility. So they go through and they see whether or not their particular claims have most of these factors and make the determination as to the eligibility of subject matter. Uh, if our sponsors wish to have this to distribute to the group, I have no problems doing that. It includes the Federal Register Notice, which also provides information with respect to patentability in the United States. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first speaker and uh, let the ball get rolling. And I hopefully will have time for conversation and questions at the end.